Every single day I log on and I get called a racist. I love, <laughs> even though I, I, I help black people all the time. <laughs> Apparently Dilbert went insane. He decided to he went he decided to go off the deep end even deeper than the end that he was off was before. Oh, blacks. oh no, now he's saying blacks. Okay, wait. Wait, look at this. Somebody said he's gone completely insane. Let's see what let's see what he has to say. I think he said somebody what I've what I've read is that he's saying that white people need to stay away from black people now. Let's um I don't know, let's see if it's true, I guess. So if, if you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, according to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Yo, segregation to electric boogaloo, the blacks. My so I have no clue what poll he's referring to, but what if I'm going to take a shot in the dark, I'm going to say that the poll does not say half of all blacks hate white people. I think what the poll says is that half of all black people are a bit skeptical of, of, of white people when it comes to the issue of race, which is a far more reasonable take. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be shocked if half of all women or more are skeptical about being in a room alone with a random man with nobody else around them. If I'm going to if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I would not be shocked and honestly it would not be surprising and even honestly honestly it wouldn't uh, that necessarily wouldn't be wrong. I don't know what the poll says, but like if a conservative says something like this, I can promise you there's a 90% chance that it says either the exact it says the exact opposite. And then there's a 10% chance that there's a grain of truth to it, but it's also wrong to say this. <laughs> That's how it goes. What can I say? Black people are a hate group. So true. So true. Have you like bl black people? They're so uppity. They hate white people. And like literally for like, there's no, there's not even any reason for like any black people to be skeptical about white people at all. Anyways, anyways. Just get the fuck away. Get, where, wherever you have to go, run. Just get away, because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. All right, this can't be fixed. You just have to escape. So that's what I did. I went to a neighborhood where you know I have a very low black population. What the fuck? Unfortunately, the, you know, there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. Um, so here I'm oh, just here quoting comes. Don Lemon. When, when he notes that the, when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't see in white neighborhoods. So even Don Lemon sees a big difference in your own quality of living based on where you live and who's there. Wait, do you think black people just ruin areas, or do you think, hey, hey, buddy, ever heard of sec ever heard, heard of redlining? Ever, Don Lemon ex saw said something that you can't say this. Black people live in poor areas. Did you notice this? So I'm I I I think that um what you need to do is just get rid of black people, and then all of the areas will just become rich because they're naturally like a blight on society that makes it worse just by simply existing their stinky aura ruins it literally like burns money it's very sad they can't control themselves that's why i have that's why i have to live in <laughs> white landia that's why i've escaped to uh that's why i've basically escaped to the my own little caucus mountains i am very smart so i i think it makes no sense whatsoever as a uh white citizen of america to try to help black citizens anymore. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Holy it's no shit. no longer a rational impulse. And so I'm, I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to back off from being helpful to black America because it doesn't seem like it pays off. Like I've been What do you mean pays off? I only do. Is, is this the type of guy who only takes a girl out on a date so he could like uh, have sex with her or something? Uh, I'm going to stop. I've, I've realized. <sighs> Guys, I've been on Twitter recently, and 
I saw another tweet. It had uh, 300 likes and it said, I hate, and it was a woman. It was a white woman. She said, I hate men. And I've realized that being nice to women doesn't pay off anymore. They're all like, ah, oh, like, you know, I just find one and I corner one in a, in a dark alleyway. And they're like, ah, oh, oh, don't assault me. Please leave me alone. It's disgusting, really. There's no even benefit to helping women anymore. So I've, um, uh, so I, I've, I've just, it just, I like, it, I, it, it doesn't even pay dividends, honestly, because like human interaction is kind of like an investment to me. And it's only worth being a part of as long as I can get paid for it or if there's something good in it for me. Being nice and being a good person simply for the act of being a good person is like it's kind of cringe and kind of lame if i'm going to be honest what the fuck and also like what was he doing for black america before he hated blm he thinks those black people deserve to get murdered like what in the world was he doing for blm blm black america black people black national what was he doing for black people in in his entire life what has he done for black people ever well like i've stopped helping black people what are you talking about you voted for donald trump <laughs> You stopped helping black people a long time ago. Or you stopped even trying. What are you saying? Who is this guy? Sorry, guys. I'm no longer against assault. Um, a woman was mean to me on uh, TikTok once. She told me to take a shower. Uh, so basically, I've realized that there's no monetary benefit or benefit. Uh, I've noticed that um, when I take girls on dates and then they say I'm nice, but they don't want to um, like have sex with me, I've noticed that there is no benefit anymore. Uh, when I hold a door open for a girl, she doesn't say thank you and instantly start like uh, slurping on my cock. So honestly, I've realized that there's no benefit to helping um, women anymore. So... Sorry, guys. Um, I think we should just like get, like get away from them. Honestly, woman America is there's no fixing. What are you saying? That's how dumb you sound. You sound insane. You sound insane. Been doing it all my life, and I've been the only outcome is I be, I get called a racist. That's the only outcome. <laughs> Well, it seems like you were doing something wrong, because people who actually like help minorities their entire lives do not get called racist all the time. That's not. That's not how that works. It just, it's just not true. I just want to know, like, what is what has he done apparently for for black people? I want to know. I want to know his star-studded rack record for black people. <laughs> it makes no sense to help black Americans if you're white. Uh, the the it's over. Don't don't even think it's worth trying. Totally not trying. And there we go. You didn't expect that today, did you? You didn't expect me to get real racist today, but did you? Those who don't want to focus on education, you just need to get away from them. Just Holy as shit! Distance as you can. That's my recommendation. Yeah, true. But here's the thing, which he doesn't know. Studies have proven that black people care about education more than even white people do. And also, this is this something we we talked about the other day. White people hate poor white people more than they hate like black people. It is quite remarkable, as well. Um, and I'm also really sick of seeing videos. So, so it's just like he hates poverty. He hates poor people and black people because like if you were like a good person, you just wouldn't be poor. And if you were a good person, you wouldn't be black. <laughs> after video of black Americans beating up non-black citizens. Um, you know, I realize it's anecdotal and it you know, doesn't give me a, a full picture of what's happening. But every damn day, I look on social media and there's some black person beating the shit out of some white person. I'm kind of over it. That sounds like, bro, that sounds like there's something up with your For You page. Is that all you look at? What, el what else? Is, is, your, is your For You page full of black people beating up, black guys beating up white men, and then white men talking about how they're a wife cheated on them with like a black guy and then talking about like how a uh, black.com has ruined uh society and also the noble penis and like what are you talking about this seems like a problem with your algorithm bro what are you saying <laughs> what an incredible self-report that he's doing right here every single day i log on and look up uh videos of uh, uh black people beating up white people and then i'm like i'm so i'm so sick of seeing this I don't know what bro's page is full of. I don't know. There's something up with these types of guys and also cuckoldry. Have you seen that new recent cuck meme that happened? <laughs> the new cuck meme that I was like some some like conservative made a meme about like the white guys um getting getting cucked by black guys all the time. 
and uh, how like the poor poor white guy comes home uh, to his only fans girlfriend beating her backbone out by a huge um, negro bull and then she's like what are you doing home so early here have this and it's like a can of cat food eat this loser while i while i finish up here i just i i'm i'm so sad for these people their lives seem so horrible and for what truly for what i saw that yeah i know right wait if anybody has it could you send it could you could you send it to me so i can see it so i can show chat it's so weird all right then racist says what Every single day, I log on and I get called a racist. I love, <laughs> even though I, I, I help black people all the time. <laughs> uh, my goodness. All I do is help black people. But now, no more. Yo, they should remove this guy. Yo, thank you. Thank you for this. Yo, they're always, t they're always thinking about getting cucked. It's crazy. Yeah, and it was like a pro, and it was like a pro Russia meme too. It was a pro USSR meme too. The, uh, the family, I'm at home. Family, I'm at home. We were waiting for you. Let's have dinner and a family night. Ah, uh, yes, the the great Russian uh people. After they get, listen, let me tell you, there aren't Russian soldiers coming home. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me tell you this now. If you're a Russian soldier, the likelihood of you coming home, the, the, like hell is, is going to freeze over. That's way more likely than you coming home after getting sent out in like as like an as like a Russian infantryman. OK, it's not happening. Queen, I'm home. What the fuck are you doing home this soon? All right. Eat this shit while I'm having sex with this guy I just met. And it's just like cat is like a can of cat food. It's the sad. And this is what like pro Russia simps are doing now. Is it cat food? Yeah. This is what pro Russia simps are doing now to make themselves feel better uh, from like 200,000 Russian casualties. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, all, all, all the Russian ones are coming home. And uh, the they them army, they come home. They also wear glasses. That's how you know they're lame. Uh, the they them army comes home and their uh, girls um uh, busy getting blacked. I think about that all the time. That's why I make sure that she she's not. It's always on my mind. She'll never, she'll never get black dick as long as I'm around. <laughs> uh, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, they're, 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 listen, Ukraine may be the they them army, but the Ru Russia is the was were army. Hate to see it. <laughs> uh, these people are so sad. Come here. Come here. Oh. Hi. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.